Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up dual back button autofocus on your Canon R7. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do guys is go to autofocus operation and you want to set that to servo. We're going to set it to servo because we're going to be shooting moving subjects because this is basically for wildlife or sports. Next thing you want to do is go to autofocus area and you want to set that to spot. We're going to go to subject tracking and we're going to set that to off. And then we're going to subject to detect and we're going to set that to animals. Now, this is preference. If you're not shooting animals, then feel free to set it to people or vehicles. That's just depending on what your scenario is. Next thing we're going to do is eye detection. Make sure that's enabled. Switching tracked subjects. I'm going to set that to zero initial priority. And again, that's assuming you're shooting fast moving subjects like birds in flight or something like that. Next thing we want to do is check out the case, and what I do is I just leave it right on auto. So we're not going to change anything from what it's set to by default here. We are going to go to sensitivity autofocus point select, and we are going to set that to plus one. Now that's going to make it more sensitive when you use your joystick to change your autofocus point. So once we have all of these settings put in there, the next thing we're going to do is actually customize the buttons. So we're going to scroll all the way over, and we're going to find customize buttons. We're going to go in there. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to your shutter button and we want to take metering and autofocus start off and we want to set this to metering start only. And that's the big difference that we're going to be making here. We're not going to have the actual autofocus set to the front button anymore. So we're going to set the shutter button to metering start only. We're going to go down and we're going to find the star button and then we're going to set that to eye detection autofocus. So now what we've done is we've set it up so that now the autofocus button is going to trigger the spot autofocus that we set earlier in the menu. And now if you want to trigger your eye detection or your tracking, you're going to use the star button. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down and we're going to go to the multi-controllers direct autofocus point selection. Now by default, I've noticed that on the R7, this is put on, but with my R6, by default, it was set to off. So you probably don't need to do anything here, but just go in there and make sure that it is set to direct autofocus point selection. That way your joystick is active. So once you have all of these things set into your camera, you can feel free to save this into your C1 settings and then go back into your manual settings and reset it back to default. That way you'll be able to switch between these custom settings and your default settings within seconds. Now I find this to be really, really helpful again when it comes to shooting wildlife or sports photography and a lot of photographers really, really do enjoy using this system and it gives you full control over the autofocus system because while the tracking is very, very good in Canon's cameras, it's not foolproof and you wanna have that spot autofocus to fall back on when it does fail you. Anyway guys, I hope that this helps you out a little bit. If it does, go below, subscribe, click that notification bell and I'll see you on my next video.